<coughs> Hello and welcome on my channel, both Aqua and your channel about horticulture, aquaponics and aquaculture. And you know, sometimes you have to start a system right from scratch without having any fish on site. And of course, when you get new fish, you actually want that your system is already up and running. And there specifically, I mean, your biofilter should be already completely cycled and running. So, and how you can start your biofilter media without having fish, I'm gonna show you now in this video and let's go. So to start my bubble filter, I use the following materials and substances. So I have here my 210 liters of uh, rainwater barrel. I use a circulation pump that is in my case hooked up to a small filtration chamber that I also want to cycle at the same time. And of course I use a heating system to heat up the water. And uh, furthermore, I use the following ingredients, are the following ingredients that I use are fertilizers. And I use, of course, water and the biofilter media itself. Surprise, surprise. Just a few notes about the water that I'm using here. We are using here a well water from a depth of 25 meters from the ground. And uh, this water I place into an old IBC tank in my garden. And the reason for that is uh, that uh, I hope that actually from the groundwater there are no fish pathogens inside the water. So I hope it's very clean in that regard. Uh, furthermore, I place it in the IBC tank in the garden to get it more warm, to temporize the water. Uh, and I see already in my IBC tank there are a lot of algae and some uh, mosquito larvae living. So in a way I also pre-activate the biology in the water by just storing the water there for a couple of weeks. Actually I stored it there for at least yeah, eight weeks I would say. All right, so but before we place our, <coughs> our biofilter media into our barrel here, we're going to start now the uh, starter solution or we're going to prepare the starter solution. So and how are we gonna do that? So first we place the water in here. Then, we, I, like I said before, I have two fertilizers. Both are full fertilizers. So that, that means they include macro and micronutrients <coughs> like uh, what all plants and living organisms need. So and uh, with first, so my, my water here has a basis EC of 0.4 millisiemens. And uh, with the first fertilizer, I increase that EC level to around about 0.7. And with the second fertilizer, I go with the EC up to circa uh, around about 1 millisiemens per centimeter. So, and the second fertilizer is much more focused on nitrogen. And the nitrogen component here is uh, one third nitrate, what we do not need so much for our uh, test here, for our reactor here. And uh, two thirds are ammonia. And that's what we need actually, because in the end, our fish are also excreting to a large extent ammonia. And in the end, ammonia is the substance that we need to make the nitrogen cycle on our biofilter media running. <coughs> and for the first week, we can leave it the way it is. And then after that, we feed on a daily basis, maybe one small spoon of uh, nitrogen fertilizer to our uh, reactor tank here. And uh, we know when the biofilter is up and running, when we do our water measurements for ammonia, nitrate and nitrate, and then we <coughs> uh, know it's running when we see that the ammonia is disappearing to nitrate, the nitrate is disappearing to, is disappearing to nitrate. So, um, <coughs> or let me explain it quickly in formulas. So when the NH4 is turned into NO2, and then the NO2 is formed into NO3 minus. So uh, and if we see this cycle is happening, we know, okay, the biofilter media is colonized with the right bacteria, and then we can utilize it for our <coughs> fish system. But before I'm gonna utilize this um, biofilter media from this uh, starter solution, I'm gonna rinse it with clean water to make sure that there are no contaminants or leftovers or residues from the fertilizer left on the media. So in this process of getting your biofilter media cycle can take up to four to six weeks, sometimes even longer, depending on the temperature you apply. We are applying now here a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, you can go a little bit higher, but I wouldn't recommend to go much higher because uh, if you go then suddenly lower, you may crush your bacteria culture and we want to prevent that. That's why I think uh, 25 degrees is an appropriate temperature. However, we can also speed up this process by um, yeah, increasing temperature or if you have already an existing system, you just place a new biofilter material into the, into the fish water loop somewhere. I think that's the best option you have. Or another option is to speed up the process. You already used recycled media. So for example, you have the possibility to buy biofilter media from a research station, for example, or from an, 
from a guy that stops uh, the koi hobby or the pond hobby and you can get that material uh, you are way faster and cycling that material even it had dried out already because you know in the end of the day you always have some remains even if it's like chalk and other materials left from the bacteria on the biofilter media even if it is totally dry but that's the perfect um, breeding ground for new bacteria colonies so by doing or by using our already recycled media you are way faster in cycling your new biofilter media. Instead of using the fertilizers that I'm using here, you could also use ammonia bicarbonate or urea. Some people even pee to their system, but that's not my case because I don't know, like the, I have something in my head that I don't want to pee in my uh, system, to be honest. Uh, but for sure that also works. And by the way, actually the biofilter media I use here is from a former system that I had five years ago. In the meantime, I saw this media of five years dry in a bag. Though I still have belief that actually this biofilter media is cycled within three to four weeks because um, the temperature is right, the feed is right, and it was already used and has still some substances and uh, components attached to the media. So I really have strong belief that um, it goes faster here. And I'm going to use this media for a new system that I'm building at the moment. And what I'm going to do there, I'm going to show you in another video. And if you have any questions how I started my uh, reactor or if you have any feedback about the video, the content, the video quality, just post it in the comments section below. I would be very happy if you subscribe my young and new channel. And I hope to see you next time for the next video. And bye bye.